I have literally no idea why, but Mattel has probably put the most, like, merchandise on just the third episode of Cars on the Road, Salt Fever. I think I actually do have a reason why, though. It's probably because, I mean, there's a bunch of racers and, like, the colorful paint jobs of the racers kind of appeal to, like, the younger audience, so they're obviously going to release more from that episode, right? Yeah. So, yeah, welcome back to yet another rev review, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Sarah Coggs and Noriyuki 2-pack that I found at Target, like, I I'd say, like, like, an hour ago, maybe. I just got back from Target like 20, like 10 minutes ago or something, maybe 20 minutes ago, but whatever. So yeah, I guess we'll get to reviewing this pretty awesome two-pack. This is probably the best two-pack of the year. I also did find the K-Pillar, Derev, and uh, Road Trip Mater two-pack there, but I, oh, I mean, I did pick it up, but yeah, I didn't, I'm, I'm not planning to open on that because I already have both those vehicles. Anyway, so yeah, you got the artwork of Sarah and Noriyuki, look pretty cool, honestly. Uh, you got the new for 2022 logo there, cars on the road, and I love the, uh, like, the car, car background of there. I like how they changed it for the cars on the road instead of just keeping it the same, like, red packaging, you know? Sarah Cogs, Noriyuki, uh, you got the, you got the awesome map in the background with Cretaceous Gardens, some plateaus, and, uh, cacti, cacti, uh, this is, like, for Circus Velocitas, I believe. Hey, hey, look at that, you got the salt flats up there. Uh, metal, Mattel, ages three and up. And on the back, you got the two two packs that were released in Mattel, by Mattel uh, for Cars on the Road in like this year, 2022. Noriyuki Cogs, which I have right here, obviously, and Mater and PA Pillar Derby. So yeah, uh, as seen in Cars on the Road, obviously, it would be really funny if they just messed up like as the, the like as seen in like they put like a Cars on the Road card as seen in Cars Two or something. That would just be insane. But yeah, I'll be right back opening these guys out of the package. And I'm going to do that little magic trick thing where I like snap and then cut scene to them open. So yeah, I'll do that. All right, I got them both out of the package. And I just got to say they look awesome because, well, I mean, Noriyuki and Sarah Cogs are awesome anyway. So yeah, we're going to get started with the review. We're going to start with the small car first and then move on to the larger scale. So yeah, let's start with Sarah Cogs here. Now, she is a new pity model, which is, like, the wider pity model. That's, like, modeled after the Cars 3 wide pity model. Not, like, the Cars 1 wide pity model, which is super wide. And he has, like, all, like, the like the stuff at the back. Like, it's, like, coming off the body. I, I really don't know how to, how to say that. But, yeah, she is the wide pity model from Cars 3, not Cars 1. So, yeah. She has a very small smile there. So, yeah. You, but not like as as small as like you can uh, see it like microscopic small but it's pretty small you also got the goggles right there which i'm kind of disappointed about because the goggles look way too foggy honestly way too fogged up like mattel you could have done better i mean you did it with mel dorado this year you you put it you you made it good with mel dorado but not sarah cogs are you kidding me she's a new character she's gonna be more like popular but you just gave her fogged up um, uh, goggles, that's understandable, but whatever, uh, you also got these little forks here, uh, rims, or, well, yeah, you got the, what, the rims, and then also the tires are colored white for some reason, I guess because, like, they're racing on the salt flats, and they're driving in salt, but you don't really have, to, but you don't have to, like, make them all white, you could just, like, do what they did with, like, the beach racers, or ice racers, or something, make them, like, so you can see the black, of the tire like i mean they did it for like griswold the one of the bigfoot hunters they did it with like muddy tires and then you could still like see the black wall tire behind there got this little yellow hat up here looking pretty nice and then there's little goggles a um, little string thingy here but for some reason i don't know why but every single sarah Cogs has a broken goggle I don't know why. Maybe it's part, part part of her design. But I didn't see that she had a broken goggle. Well, not really a broken goggle, but broken strand thing, like, right there in the, in the show. But, I mean, whatever. It's whatever. Uh, you do have this little black back bumper thing, which is painted in black. The rest is just green, and then the hat is yellow. 
This is pla the hat is plastic, the fork is plastic, the goggles are plastic. I think this little back portion is plastic, and I think the base is metal, which is pretty interesting. But she does not have the same hot the the same like weight as like let's say like Millie because she's pretty heavy, or like Laura Spinlow or something like that because they have metal bases and they're pretty heavy. R twenty eight A made in the twenty eighth week of twenty twenty two in the A factory, pretty nice. Obviously made in Thailand, and yeah. All right, let's move on to my boy Noriyuki, which looks pretty nice. Now, I thought, like, Sarah Cogs was going to be my favorite out of this two-pack, but no, I think it's actually Noriyuki, because, I mean, he just looks cool. I like the model of him. It looks awesome. You do have pretty awkward expression of him. It's kind of funny how he looks like that, but, yeah. I don't know why, but Noriyuki was kind of like a villain in, in the Cell Flats movie uh, episode, because he kind of came out, like, and made her almost die, and he was just like, yay, yay, made her, you broke the record, like, he didn't care about made her dying or anything, that's just selfish, he also got the headlights up here, and the grill, so yeah, smile, I do really like this little transparent visor, but it's not, like, fully transparent, I'd say it's, like, 80%, well, no, 20% transparent, 80% not transparent, but yeah, I do like the yellow coloring on it. It looks more like an olive green, but I'd say it's like a yellow. You also got this little light up here, orange light. On the side here, you got these little wrenches, which is, I guess, like the company logo for her. I mean him. And also, tires that are caked in salt, same deal with Sarah Cog, sadly. And also some other salt flats racers like Dad's Jammin', Revo Cost, Royce Fresley. Now, the new Soul Flats racer for 20... The first, like, case of 2023 singles has a new Soul Flats racer, Classic Rod, named Gearston Marshall. And he does not have white tires. He actually has black tires. So, I think Mattel, like, improved, or maybe that's just a one-time thing. Or whatever. I just say they, they improved from just, like, caking them all in white to just, like, make them black and maybe a little bit of salt in there, here and there. But yeah, pretty interesting. You also got all this junk back here, which is pretty cool. Just a bunch of random parts. You see like an engine in there. You see some like wooden planks right there. You saw, you can see some like other bigger wooden planks and some like fenders, exhaust pipes right there. It's pretty cool. And then on the base here, you got R29A I mean, in the 29th week of 2022 in the factory. Uh, they were made a week apart from each other, which is pretty interesting. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Obviously made in Thailand. So, yeah. That's about it for this review, guys. Honestly, really do like this two-pack. This is definitely the best two-pack of the year, honestly. Worth our wait, you know? So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later for another review. Thank you for tuning in to my video. And I will see you guys for another review of Racing Red Lightning McQueen. Yeah, I found that at Walmart. I don't know why, but you'll see it in the Hunt episode. Yet, yeah, um... I'll probably post a hunt episode on like Monday, maybe, and then Racing Red Lightning McQueen uh, tomorrow because I'm doing daily uploads, one video a day. You know, pretty cool. All right, I'll see you guys later.